In the kitchen now with Michelle from Lamer's Dairy. Good morning and happy early Valentine's Good Day. Good morning, Amy. Happy early Valentine's to you. It'd be a fun thing to do, take the kids out for an ice cream cone on uh, tomorrow and we'd, see uh, all, all the action. We'd love to have people come uh, to the dairy. We actually won't be bottling on Saturdays, but Monday through Friday, everyone can come and watch. And it's still neat to, you know, show kids where milk comes from and, exactly. you know, get, go out and see a mm -hmm. family and, and see an operation. So what are we making today with wonderful Lamer's Heavy Cream, I see, our favorite. And it's the thickest cream you've ever, ever seen. It's delicious. Thank you. Well, this is our last minute Valentine's dessert. So this is, couldn't be easier, but couldn't be tastier. I was, uh, my husband is my guinea pig and he, again, it, it's husband approved. <laughs> so we're going to start with my favorite brownie recipe. Okay. No box mix. We're going to make brownies from scratch. Right. I'm all in. I'm always looking for, I'm a brownie nut. That is my thing. Um, and the box mixes, sometimes they just don't turn out well. So I'm, sure. I'm all in, but it looks like it's a pretty easy one. It's very easy. Okay. And you can do the box if that's what works for your family. But okay. we're going to start, what I have is three ounces of unsweetened, and that's the unsweetened chocolate. Those so little squares? That's right. Okay. And you, and then three quarters of a stick of butter, and you melt that in the microwave. Okay. So it's really easy, no hassle. Okay. Then you're going to add sugar okay. to it. We have a cup and a half of sugar. Okay. And you're going to mix that in and then add um, three eggs. Okay. Now, if you only want to do an eight by eight or a nine by nine, you can do like two thirds of the recipe. Okay. Actually, that was my original recipe, and I plussed it up to do a nine by 13 because you can never have enough brownies. Yeah, I agree. If you're going to go through the trouble, make a big pan of them. Okay. Yeah, why not? And then when we get that mixed together, we're going to add some vanilla, a little bit of salt. And then our flour. So not a lot of flour. So these are going to be no. fudgy, 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 which fudgy. is I'm all in. Yeah. That's so this is just regular flour. Right, and that's three quarters of a cup. And okay. I didn't put this in a pretty little bowl. That's okay. It's just chocolate chips. My secret ingredient because they melt and they stay a little bit soft, so it makes them really delicious. Mm. And this then what? Is easy. It's very easy. And then what you want to do is line your pan with foil, and and butter it. You can either cooking spray or butter. I'm like butter, and then that'll make it easy to lift out later because we're going to cut it into um, bite size okay. bits. And brownies, the nice thing is, is you know, I'm just using a, a spatula to mix this together. They don't have to be, you know, you don't want them to be smooth, smooth, smooth like a cake right. mix. Right. All right. So at home, you'll do this a little better than me, but it goes. <laughs> that's oh, okay. chocolate we're chips. We're going to put our chocolate chips in. Well, we gave you a tiny spatula too. That's okay. I know that's your favorite color, but it's a little <laughs> bit small for the job. <laughs> Yeah, then we just want to dump that in and bake it at 325. For about how long? About 30 minutes. Kind okay. of check it. I start checking at 20. Um, you really want to have like that crust on top um, and then stick a toothpick in it or a cake. It's kind of a heavy bowl, Thank isn't you. it? Uh, yeah, you know, brownies are tough because uh, once you over bake them, they're, they get really yeah. dry. But yeah. because they're dark anyway, it's hard to tell. Right. So I like that idea. Yeah. The top is a little firm and use a toothpick and pull them out. If you know, don't let them over bake. That's the right. key. You want them to still be fudgy. Yeah. Okay. And then we can just, so you'd spread that out and, um, and it's really, really simple. And then your result is going to be, you can just lift it out. This is what That's, the trick of that. the foil yeah. is. Yeah. So then you can spread that out and you can be able to cut it. Okay. Now we can do a couple things. I have one here. If you want to be really fast, you can just cut shapes, which would be really fun for decorating. Just Otherwise, you can take shapes. a knife yeah, uh -huh. and cut some little, I was doing just, you know, bite-sized pieces. Okay, because sure. we're going to make little parfaits with these. Yeah. And I love this recipe. I just, I'm like you. I love brownies. I try all kinds of different recipes. And this, I always go back to. It's based on uh, Boston Cooking School, an old-fashioned recipe from the 50s. Some of the oldies are some of the best. Now, I see our laborers heavy cream. How does that come in? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to make a strawberry whipped cream. And that's Ooh. right. I should be double-tasking ta here. So this is our Lamer's Dairy, Dairyland's Best Heavy Whipping Cream. And we're just going to pour a pint of that in here, depending on how, much, um, how many people you're going to serve. You may want more. Then I always like to sweeten it with a little bit of powdered sugar. And the reason powdered sugar is because it melts. I gotta try a little of this brownie. Yeah, a little bit of vanilla. Mm. You're good. Good, Michelle. Yum. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just start beating this. I don't okay. know if you wanna mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. We're gonna just whisk it until it's stiff. Should we do it at a little higher speed? Sure. Yeah, we're gonna want a higher speed. 
And what we're going to do a little differently is I've chopped up the strawberries okay. and we're going to put them right in the whipped cream once Ooh, it's fun. Yeah. And you can actually crank it up a little. And for Valentine's Day, I'm telling you, bring on the whipped cream. Yeah, I, that's right. Know, with cream and berries. With cream and berries, and, exactly. Yeah. So then you can just pick a shape. You can do a wine glass if you have it at home. It's kind of festive. This is kind of an interesting champagne-shaped glass. I love that idea because we all have these pretty, pretty glasses. Martini mm -hmm. glass, oh, whatever. Oh, martini glass would be great. Even a pretty juice glass. But we don't use them a lot. So, you know, you don't have to just use them for wine and martinis. They're great for layering pretty mm -hmm. desserts. They're great if you're having like, a dinner party. You can make these up ahead of time. Right. So we just want this to get nice and stiff. Yeah. And you can crank it up more. Yep. Nice I'll stiff. go ahead and let you start um, okay. assembling, maybe? Sure. Well, what we'll do is we'll actually want to put a little bit of whipped cream in there. Okay. Maybe I oh, whipped cream. We're yeah, almost there. We'll just kind of sprinkle some brownies in there. Okay. While we're waiting for this cream to do its thing, tell people how they can find lemurs. Um, you do Thank deliver you. too, right? Do you deliver? Um, well, there is a service. They're a distributor. Okay. Um, and Farmer's Best, and they do deliver our lemurs glass milk um, throughout the Fox Valley. I know so people can get it delivered, yeah. and I'm, that's what a nice service to have it that is, done. It is. It's nice. So but they actually are one of our distributors. But you can find us on lamersdairyinc.com, um, information about us, about our um, family history. And then we're going to put most of these in here. I'm going to reserve a few for decoration. So if you just want to fold those Absolutely. in, Amy, and then we'll. And again, it's kind of how many, you know, it depends on how much you want in your. But it's going to turn the whipped cream just a lovely oh, pink. pink. And it's just, you know, what's nice about it is you get a bite of strawberry mm -hmm. in every mm -hmm. bite. So, so we just yeah, dice those that's up. That's it. Okay. So yeah. now we'll start layering. Right. And you can just put some and in. And I've got there. a little scoop oh, that might make it. A great a idea. easier. The one thing, if you're using these little uh, parfait glasses, getting things in there is sometimes oh, a challenge. So, sure. Uh, these work great. So we can do a little of that. Maybe two scoops of that. A little more brownie. Mm -hmm. But it's so pretty. And mm -hmm. you know, you could enlist your kids. I know you love kids in the kitchen to help you with this. Absolutely. So you get a bite of brownie and a bite of, stra of strawberry and whipped cream and every. And then we'll decorate the top with maybe a little. Yeah, some of the grout. You could do some of the sliced. We'll do one more little dollop there. Yeah, and you can give this little one a dollop too. Absolutely, the great. heart shape one. Of right. Or two. Sure. Let's go all, all out as Valentine's That's right. That's and again, Lamers, um, right off uh, 441. You can't miss it there. Right. The right. Stores open. You can go pick up your milk there. Um, that's and right. a great gift shop and pick up some ice cream cones and things like that. Always a pleasure to see you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. These are beautiful and what a perfect thing for a last minute Valentine. I love it. Stay with us. We'll be back.